Hi, my name is Mark, and what a great day for math. Now, one of the things that I like to do with my students sometime in the first month of school is to say, why math? Why math? Why are we doing math anyway? Because if we don't know the answer to that question, we're probably not going to have a very good year together. Well, there's lots of reasons why we do math. I normally, the first one I always say is we do math because math is beautiful. And math is beautiful. I mean, just think for a moment about Maxwell's equations or any other equations that you know. I mean, they truly are beautiful. Another reason I throw out is, well, we do math because math is true. Two plus two is actually four. Okay, I know I'm offending some of you postmodern thinkers out there who say, oh, it's just one of the meta narratives, and it's sure it happens to be pragmatic, but we don't know if it's actually true or not. Well, what can I say? I'm not a postmodern thinker. And when a student tells me two plus two is five, I mark it wrong with conviction. Well, students give me lots of reasons why we do math, like the school makes me do it, or I want a five on this AP exam to help me get into college, and those are all good reasons. But let's set aside all of those reasons. I want to focus on this particular reason today. And that is, we do math because we have questions in our lives. I have questions, you have questions that we want answers to, and math helps us answer those questions. For example, I'm a movie producer. Okay, I'm not a movie producer, but when I become a movie producer, I'm going to do a lot of math. Because when I film my first epic film, which is going to be boulders from the sky, I don't want to give you too much about the plot, I don't want to give it away, but there's going to be lots of boulders falling from the sky. Now, I know it's going to be a low-budget operation, and so I'm only going to be able to afford one sweet car to smash. And when I smash that car, I want that boulder to fall out of the sky and land smack dab in the center of the roof. So if I only got one shot at this, I have to know exactly when to release the car to start rolling, when to have the boulder dropped off the cliff so it lands right on top of that car. So this is the problem that I have, a real world problem. When do I release the car? When do I release the boulder? How long will it take the boulder to come down to the ground? Now, I can just think, oh, I think it's going to take, oh, you know, six, seven seconds or so. That seems about right, which is, could be, you know, a good estimate, a good ballpark figure. But I need to know it accurately, and I just can't come up with that out of my head. So I get stuck trying to get to the answer. Ah, but here's what I can do. I can take my problem over to Mathland, because in the math world, I can build a mathematical model that represents my real-world problem. So I build a model in math world. So here's a great model that will allow me to solve for t, which is the time that it's going to take for the boulder to reach the ground. So I use my mathematical knowledge to solve this problem. That's great. Since it is a quadratic, I happen to end up with two answers here. I notice that one of them is negative, one of them is positive chances are the negative answer isn't really the one that I'm looking for. I'm not looking for, you know, oh, the answer is before I actually release the boulder. So I have to think about those answers and then take them and map them back to the real world. And when I map them back to the real world, I say, oh, yeah, actually, I want the positive answer. That's the answer. Right there it is, 8.2 seconds. I have the answer to my question. And that's why we love math because we have problems that we want answers to. We can build mathematical models. They're clean, they're elegant, they're simple. They allow us to solve and come up with the answers in Mathland, which we can then map back and interpret and find the real world answers to the questions that we care about. That's a great reason for doing math and go math.